What's up, Jabroni? Steven here. Welcome back to yet another reaction today. We are hopping into Supernatural season number four, episode number 19, Jump the Shark. Uh, so jumping the shark is like an old happy days thing when Fonzie jumped the shark and people kind of use that as like a metaphor for when, all right, this is where it went overboard and everything went to hell. So I'm guessing this might be a comedy episode. I'm guessing unless they're actually talking about a real shark. Uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reaction. Episodes extra early if you want them. If you don't want them, totally cool. Episodes here whenever they show up if you want. Um, as you can see, I'm not 100%. <laughs> I don't feel great. We're going to attempt to record and do the best we can. Um, but if I'm not as, I don't know, as into it or as vocal as I usually am, I apologize. I just don't feel great. <laughs> All I could do is say I, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let's just hop in here. Have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Jesus, man. I'm, I'm too sick for jump scares, man. Who is this? I'm his son. No way. No way. Name, <laughs> I'm telling you, the kid checks out. Great, so he's an actual person on the planet Earth. Sucks he's got a demon in him. He is a shapeshifter. <laughs> and it's silver. Okay. Adam? This is me. Hey. The Why fuck are you doing? Adam? I didn't know who else to call. Uh, he's the only family I got. He had this beautiful 67 Impala. Oh, this is crap. You know what? You're lying. Oh, no, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, you are. I'm sorry, but who the hell are you to call me a liar? We're John Winchester's sons. That's who. I can prove it. You saw her come home Tuesday night, but she never showed up to work on Wednesday. Oh, shit. Sure. Mom's supervisor at the hospital did. Check it out. Oh, shit. Sure. Look at that. All right, so he was hunting something. What? No idea. Remember that thing in that episode with, uh, what was her name? How can I help? You can't. This thing killed my mom. If you're hunting it, I want in. No. Dean, look, maybe... Maybe okay. what? He He's lost reacting. his mother. Maybe we can understand what that feels like. It matter. He didn't want Adam to have our lives, okay? And we're going to respect his wishes. Do I get a say in this? No! No. <laughs> he bullshit him. Oh. Yeah. How would he know the information, though? I'm going to teach you a few. He's got that law and order vibe. <laughs> so? The FBI doing in Wyndham. Looking into the disappearance of Joe Barton. Stay here. Please don't be bad. I don't want you to be bad. I want you to actually be good. I don't even know what it is. Over here. What is it? Trap, and I walked right into it. Doesn't matter. You're right. There's a pattern. Joe Barton was a cop. All the people Dad knew in town. At least we know why he's back. Once revenge. It's, it's the thing's son. On Dad. On us. What if they find the kid instead, and he's not ready? I'll do it. Whatever it takes, I'll do it. I want to do it. Dude, I have no idea what this, what's happening. Like, I don't know, like, what the hell the thing could be. So, yeah, we're we're introducing this kid. Like, he about to be part of the team. Like, what the hell? Like, he can't just go back to his normal life. What? 
Hunting is life. You can't have connections. Dad gave that exact same speech, remember? It was just before you ditched us for Stanford. Maybe the bodies are certain people. Like maybe the crypts that maybe, maybe the we didn't look at who the bodies were the bodies that were taken. Who were they? <coughs> maybe we should have looked at that. Or what? Why are we coming? I don't understand what we're going after it by ourselves. That shit almost took out Sam and I don't get it though. It like it pull it's man, it moves fast. It always looks like a person. Oh shit. No fucking way. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> the way he said that. <laughs> Get the, get the fuck out of it, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, it's the mom. That's, I mean, he should shoot her. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is it a fucking ghost? What is, what? I don't even get it. I'm so confused. Is it a ghost? How did they know all that information? How did they have, did they fake the pictures? They fake everything? Taking the form of the last corpse you choked down. And their thoughts and their memories. Oh, so he like Adam, for instance. Oh my god, was that all real? What we eat. Monsters. That was all real? He was your brother, but he's dead. Use that word a lot, Sam. I'm so stuck on the fact that oh, their brother was killed. That was he was really their brother, and he was murdered. Like the the ghoul thing killed him. It's like cut, they cut, they cut, they pretty much cut your veins. You sure we should do this? Ghouls didn't fake those pictures. They didn't fake Dad's journal. Adam was our brother. He died like a hunter. He deserves to go out like one. Oh, yeah, we, oh man, we could have called Cuss. But then you're gonna call him back to bring him into this life. I get I get Dean's point right there. You know, I finally get why you and Dad butted heads so much. Alright, well that was episode number 19. Uh jump the shark. Yeah, I don't get that. Um I was way off on of what I thought it was. Let me look up the definition. Reach a point at which far-fetched events are included merely for the sake of novelty. Yeah. Weird, right? Indicative of a decline in quality. I thought, I thought it was going to be a comedy one. I mean, this, this introduced a whole new story into like a whole new kind of backstory for the guy. Like, not backstory, but like, they had a brother. They had a sibling. John had a whole nother life that the boys didn't know about. That's like a big deal. Um, I thought that was a really good episode, honestly. It had a few jump scares. Um, it had a fucking insane twist. Uh, two twists, actually. The brother at the beginning and then the fact that the brother was actually dead the whole time. It was a ghoul, which is something I don't really ever see. Like, I don't know what ghouls are. Look. Ghoulies.
I always thought ghouls were kind of like ghosts, but apparently the demon or monster uh, were associated with graveyards and consuming human flesh. Holy shit. Um, I'd give that episode, hmm, for me, a very strong eight. Like, I was really into that episode. I thought it was, thought it was handled well. Um, there were a few things that I was kind of, like, hesitant on. How easily Sam was all about bringing in the brother. Um, I get it. You know, we are in this thing. But how easily Sam was to bring it in. Um, how against it Dean was. I actually think it works. Then how pro, I guess you needed the whole pro-Sam thing. Sam to be so pro for it. So, because Dean was going to be so against it. So, it actually works for itself. Um... Let's see. I actually don't have much negative. I mean, this might be a nine, actually. No, I mean, it might be a nine for me, guys. I'm being real. Like, I don't have much negative to say. Um, yeah, I don't have much negative to say. I'm going to kind of, we'll break it down. We'll go through it. Um, and we'll see if there's anything really I had that I didn't really like, like, like a lot. Um, to drop it from like a nine to an eight, but at the moment I'm gonna, I think I might give it a nine. Let's break it down. Episode starts off with a fucking jump scare. Like this shit scared the shit out of me. Where is it? Is it here? I'm just like, how quiet it is. That fucking thing almost got me again. Um. Uh, she did the smart thing. He grabbed her under the legs. It looked like a human being hanging out. We then get the phone call. We find out it's, uh, I said it's his son. Great little, holy shit kind of moment. Uh, Dean is against it. He does the holy water, does the silver because, you know, shape shifts and all that stuff. Awesome stuff. Sam's doing all the research. So he's figuring out this is a real thing, man. This is a real thing. Um, um, uh, then the kids talking about all the memories. The kid, I mean, the, the, the ghoul did a great job pretending to be the kid, man. He used all the emotional and real shit that he had in him to pretend to be the kid. I was like, I was into it. I mean, at one point I was like, is this kid going to be along for the ride? Like, what's what's going to happen now? <laughs> like, is he a part of the fam? <laughs> like, how's this going to go? I was all like for it. Um, I was like, I even said like in the reaction, I was like, where does it go? Like, does he, like, where does it go if he, he, if he doesn't come with us? How we find out there was grave diggers. Interesting though, the, like their point of view at the end where they were like, our, our father wasn't a monster. He was killed by a monster. They weren't hurting anybody. They were just eat, feed, feeding on dead bodies. Interesting. Now uh, then we have the greats in the house. Um, so this thing, it's a bit far fetched. Look how big this thing is. No house has a, a thing this big. Um, I love the way that they decide how they're going to go in and then the kid is just kind of looking at it and then when you see what it is like oh yeah that's all kinds of fucked up I was like who are you guys really Sam like see look how quick Sam was to tell the kid everything you know what I mean like kid and then he was quick to train the kid on the gun which I was like a mistake uh, Dean, Dean actually does all the work For the most part does all the work Find out about the guy's past, that he had help. House, a tear. Pulls him under. Pretty cool scene. And it is, and at this point, you're like, it can't be him. Because we saw him. It showed him. It couldn't have been him. But at this point, you're like, oh, what it actually is it? Then we have the argument about dad wanting him to live a normal life. That was late earlier. You're going to honor that. Is that here? You want to use the kid as bait? Yeah, the kid. This is the kid as bait thing. Train the kid. Like some jealousy thing, which I thought was actually really cool about Sam kind of being jealous and Dean kind of being jealous. Like the whole thing about the baseball game. That was interesting. Um, Dean, you know, searching. He goes in there. He gets trapped down there in this like crypt. Really, really scary. Then get this in. The mom comes down. Sam's screaming. Uh, we then at the reveal 
They've been they were dead the whole time. The mind of the dead they've, they've been dead. What we are now is just we were ghouls. Ah, uh, this thing here is like gives me chills the way that they cut into Sam and Sam doesn't die. That's crazy. Um they fed on him. They talk about how, the, how their brother was a screamer, how he really was their brother. Uh Dean comes in, he shoots one of them, he's like, They're ghouls, which you have to do headshots with. They're bleeding the shit out of Sam. Fight. Yeah, they save each other. I mean, was there any other reveal here? I mean, I thought that, and I even thought the Dean thing was like he went out. He was our brother. He went out like he was. He went out like a hunter. He's gonna get buried like a hunter. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it just kind of ends. So yeah, there was there was only a few things that I didn't really love. Um, but I mean, I I I can see I can give it an eight probably, but I, I don't know. I really liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was a cool twist. I was really into the episode, so I'm between an eight or a nine. Um, nah, it's gotta be an eight. Yeah, it's gotta be an eight because I wish we could have kind of known the can. No, they didn't want to fit the story. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I like the episode though. Hopefully you guys did as well. Um, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction, uncut, unedited episodes extra early over there if you want them. Uh, if you don't want them, that's totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.